Hi guys, good morning. This devotional is for Thursday, March 25th, and on the Hebrew calendar, it is the 12th of Nisan, year 5781. Sorry, I did not get on here and record a devotional yesterday. I was so tired. I am still so tired, but I'm going to go on and get this out there for you guys, okay? Um, this devotional is called, Where is the Love? The scripture comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 2, and it says, If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And the devotional goes on to say, Think of the biggest mountain around your home, or think about the biggest mountain you've ever seen. If you've never seen a mountain or there aren't any nearby, think of the biggest hill or mound. So maybe in the Midwest, Cahokia Mounds, right? Got to climb all those stairs to get to the top. Well, imagine walking outside one day and seeing that that mountain or hill is gone. Someone moved it from one side of town to the other. Wow. Now imagine it was a friend of yours. And they prayed a prayer, and poof, that's how the mountain moved. You would think your friend is super close to God if that happened. You'd think that there's sure some incredible faith that they have. God teaches that a person can do really amazing things through faith in him, including miracles that will blow you away. But if that person doesn't have love, it doesn't mean a thing. Love matters to God. It matters more than miracles, more than moving mountains or doing everything right. He wants us to love him and he wants us to love each other. So when you look at your day today, think about how you can love God and others. It will be the most important part of your day. Okay. It's also the most pleasing part of your day to the Lord. So for me, a lot of days I am like chasing children around and preparing homeschooling stuff and cooking and cleaning and not doing much else or helping people. And I wonder, you know, what is the point of all of this? The whole world is still going on around and I'm doing the same things every single day and it's not very much. But then I remember that I'm called to love that that is my purpose, no matter where I am, what I'm doing or what I'm not doing. And so I just try to take every opportunity, even in the small things. So um, calling our older friend, our elderly friend out here and just speaking to him for a few minutes or um, writing a friend a letter real quick and popping it in the mail or just speaking um, to my children with kindness and really being mindful to do that even if I'm like not in a good mood or I'm really tired um, doing something for others that is loving and having a loving attitude and knowing that that pleases God and that it is such an important part of my day no matter what else goes right or goes wrong okay so I don't have to succeed at everything but I do love every day I try to love, okay? And that is my greatest success. Our prayer today, join with me. God, I would love to do awesome miracles. But the best thing I can do is love you and love other people. And this I can do every day. Fill me up with love. In Yeshua's name, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Love you guys. It's Thursday. One more day.